Katie Ballard of Pony Stampede here with Garrett Gilbert. What a crazy game last week. How did it feel to play in that? Well, uh, it was, you know, it was a lot of fun. Obviously, those overtime games are always fun to watch, and they're fun to be a part of, too. Um, Would have liked to uh, come out on the other side, but uh, it, was a, it was a fun game, and, um, and uh, it was great to be a part of. What kicked in in the fourth quarter to get the Mustangs going again? Uh, we just kept fighting. Our guys are really resilient, and they just sort of kept plugging away at things when you know things aren't always going to go well, and we were able to stay positive and continue to uh, continue to, um, I guess you know, just stay in the game. And, and our defense made some plays for us when we needed it, and then uh, we were able to uh, get some scores there at the end. What was the mindset of this team coming out of the half when y'all were still down? Uh, you know, like I said, we're very resilient. Being down um, at halftime is something that we've faced before, and we feel like, uh, you know, obviously rather be up in that position. But we're, but you know, we've been there before, and we understand that, you know, uh, whenever you're down at the half, um, got to make some things happen, and uh, we were able to do that. Was there a certain play that you think turned things around? Um, I don't know if there was one play. Um, it was just a, a, a continual. Um, effort by the guy you know by everyone uh, we were able to you know no one laid down uh, we stayed up stayed positive and stayed in the game and kept fighting talk a little bit about your two-point conversion and how you were able to make that happen uh it was just uh one of those you know i have i have no idea um it was i uh, began to scramble and saw jeremy in the back of the end zone and knew that if i couldn't get an easier throw that that was somewhere i could go with the ball late and um they did a nice job on the front side of, of keeping everyone covered and so last ditch effort um, obviously right before I was about to go out of bounds uh, something that just you know I had to make had to make a throw there and Jeremy made an unbelievable catch in the back of the end zone. Jeremy had a great game how does his success help y'all's chemistry? Oh uh, you know he, he's been unbelievable all year long obviously one of the leading receivers in the nation and he'll just uh, continue to continue to get better um, he's put in so much work over the offseason he deserves everything he's gotten so far this year and, and uh, he'll continue to work hard and get better. Were there any changes that you made to the offense before going into the game? Um, nothing specific. You know, obviously we do some some uh, some stuff for for the defense that we're playing that may be different than than the week prior. But uh, there was no specific changes that we that we made before the game um, uh, that uh, that are that are noticeable really. What do you think the offense needs to do for the rest of the season to carry that momentum? We'll just have to continue to build on it. Um, obviously playing playing well in the second half. Um, our offensive line did a great job up front. Uh, receivers were out there making plays. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of fun doing it. I think it's something we can definitely build on and something that we'll, uh, that we'll continue to get better off of. Thank you so much. Thank you.